flower stump about a month after he's initially cut down the tree. This is a tree that was practically dead and it was right here by the street and so I came up with this cute little gnome house idea and he agreed and so here we go. He cut the, the top of the stump kind of a, a roof pitch and then he went to Lowe's today and bought a half a sheet of plywood and he measured each side and we're going to do about an inch uh, hangover on both sides and then about an inch hangover on the bottom and then I'm fixing to go up towards the house and show you what he's bought to use as our little cedar shake. I want to show you what the package look like that we are making the little cedar shakes out of. It's a big eight foot package of, they're called Evertrue Edge V Group Cedar Planking. And so these were bought at Lowe's and I'm sure you, you can use whatever, but my husband wanted to use the actual cedar because it's gonna be right there at the entrance of our driveway and so we want it to look as, as good as possible. Anyway, these were about $20 for this package of six boards and he's cutting them into four by four inch blocks. I'll show you. Okay, the pieces he's cutting, he's making them about four inches long and they're actually at tongue and groove. He's just kind of playing around with it now. I'll show you what they look like. He's going to get all those cut for both sides of the roof. Nails that he is using. And then he put a little smear liquid nails liquid nails and just put a little starter strip there to kind of offset the gap that the first strip of cedar shapes are going to create one oh three okay we are cutting them about two inches he's going to do probably another row and then where he's actually going to go nail this to the stump and then finish the tops of the roofs while it's on the stump okay he has the roof attached to the stump and so now he's going to finish attaching all the little cedar squares. He bought a little 50 cent piece of right angle aluminum at Lowe's just to put on the top cap. So I want to show you that before he gets finished with both sides. Well here's what we got done today. Just thought I would give you a shot from the back. So we got the roof done today and I went and found a little shepherd's hook in the backyard. I'm going to put a little lantern that um, I'm gonna find just a little miniature lantern to uh, hang on that little hook. And so my husband and now is trying to make me some little wooden windows to put on there. So that's gonna be tomorrow's project. I'm gonna plant some flowers around the base of it. And then we're gonna to try to just decide how we wanna do the little front door. That is day one of our little knoll house and it's fixing a storm. So I'm fixing to cover it with a garbage bag so that some of this wood glue can dry. Have her wrapped up, ready for the storm, and then we'll start working on her again tomorrow. It's been a couple weeks and we have put the finishing touches on it. We put, uh, we car my husband did actually, uh, carved a little area out and was able to mount the door a little flush just out of a piece of plywood. Uh, we made the windows out of just some little scrap wood he had. I got the little gnome at Walgreens. I put a couple little clay pots at the front door and I bought some little rocks at Dollar Tree and the little shepherd hook and lantern I got at Dollar General. I think it turned out pretty cute. We've had lots of comments from the neighbors. People have stopped and asked us about it, but it's just a cute way to dress up a stump and it's right here as you pull in our driveway. So it's quite the conversation piece. So I hope you enjoyed it. This is our little gnome house. If you have an old stump sitting around, here's something cute to do.